Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate woodcutter's technique of management of hard nucleus in three phaco surgeries. This is the first case. I am going to show capsulorexis also in all the three cases. And all the three cases, the capsule has been stained with tripe and blue dye so that the rexis becomes nicely visible. This is the first case, the capsulorexis has just now been done. Now, hydrodissection is done very carefully. In hard cataracts, we have to do hydrodissection in one or two, sometimes three places. Depress the nucleus gently and rotate the nucleus gently. When the, caps, uh, when the uh, pupil is dilated this much, the case is not very difficult. Now, woodcutter's technique is you embed the tip of the phaco handpiece just in front of the main incision into the equator of the lens this equator go to a deeper level and apply energy and at this level the tip should not be visible go and on the other as you reach the near the cross must cross the center and as you are near the other equator you chop it it's one kind of horizontal chopping but it's very efficient in hard cataracts like this. This is uh, what grade it, be. it will be. It's about grade 4 nucleus sclerosis and we can easily chop the nucleus at on go. Just go deep into the nucleus, cross the center, go near the other equator and then apply the your chopper and emulsify. In this case, I am half of the uh, nucleus has been managed by this time. It has been emulsified. This is the other half. Just hold the nucleus firmly and chop it and emulsify and engulf it. In all the three cases, the nucleus is of this grade, about grade 4. In this case, I am, I have chopped each fragment and each fragment has been emulsified and taken out at that time itself. This is the second case. See the rexis. The capsule has been incised with a cystitum, so 26 gauge disposable needle cystitum which I make myself and now this is how I do rexis with uterator forceps. The pupillary margin, margin of the pupil is guiding me to perform a beautiful almost circular rexis. Now hydrodissection is done and the nucleus is gently depressed and the nucleus is rotated. Now we have to enter into the eye with the tip of the phaco handpiece. This cholesterol substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Again, the same thing. The tip of the phaco handpiece will be embedded, will be impaled into the nucleus just near the equator. Push the nucleus downward a little bit and start from one equator. The tip is not visible. Just going to the other side and 
the nucleus is divided so this is an excellent technique where you need not sculpt at all we just go cross the center go near the other equator and use your chopper and see this chopper it's so such a small chopper and it is doing a beautiful job this chopper has been devised by me it's just a modified sinski hook sinski hook is thinner and it is a little stouter and this is the last fragment the nucleus in all these three cases the new fico power was 80% and see the followability of these fragments although this is a peristaltic machine this is otlis catrex 3 fico machine this is a peristaltic machine but followability of the fragments is so good the fragments come could see that the fragments come to the teeth just like a venturi system and now we're going to see the third case the capsule has been stained dysclastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and now we're going, going to do capsulorexis see the rexis inside the capsule raise a flap then I go with the iterator forceps hold this flap and I go anti-clockwise the margin of the people guides me I remain at equal distance all around and this way I perform a circular axis so we if we develop our skills we can do beautiful surgery this rexis is comparable to femtorexis now see the cataract is quite hard in this case it is more than grade 4 it looks almost black still with woodcutters technique we can divide the nucleus without sculpting without making a trench without making a crater here it is I push the nucleus little down start from the equator go at a deeper level the teeth gets buried cross the center go near the other equator and then I apply the chopper and in this case the nucleus is too bulky it is harder than the previous two so I sculpt a little bit go to a deeper plane I've rotated the nucleus 180 degree and now I separate the two main parts and the nucleus divides into two heminuclei and now each heminucleus is being chopped into several fragments So woodcutter's technique is a nice technique. You impale the tip. First you, uh, you push the nucleus little bit downward without stressing the jonule and impale the tip of the FACO handpiece just in front of the main incision into the nucleus just near the equator go deep bury the tip apply full energy about 80% energy in such cases go forward cross the center and as you cross the center then you apply your chopper and make the crack in this case the patient was coughing vigorously so I had to come out the patient is coughing the whole head is moving so 
I have to come out. I have injected viscoelastic substance and I am asking the patient to cough out completely because otherwise the patient will cough again if he tries to subdue his reflex, his cough reflex. <laughs> so, it has been a great pleasure to do all these three cases today by this technique, woodcutter's technique of nucleus management. I'm very happy that I could do it. Now the patient was coughing again and I had to come out. And a last fragment, small fragment is there. I injected viscoelastic substance, went again and removed this fragment. So all the three cases, the nucleus has been managed nicely. And see the followability. The fragments, small fragments reaches the teeth. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.